Every time we have to put these ridiculous latex gloves on, but at least they don't leave marks on the instrument, so it makes it uh, easier for uh, Jean Christophe to wipe afterwards before they put them away. Uh, I come every month to test the full production of uh, sovereigns and prestige cornets. Uh, occasionally we, we try uh, flugelhorns and trumpets as well, but mainly it's for sovereign and prestige cornets. Uh, we test them for uh, playing qualities, make sure that they play to the, the high standard that we set ourselves, and also for aesthetic uh, finish and for mechanical properties as well, make sure the valves and the triggers and the slides all work perfectly. Okay, I'll take you through what I normally do. Take the instruments up to start with, making sure that everything is as it's supposed to be. Make sure the valves okay. Check for any visual problems, which, as I'm sure you can see, apart from my dirty fingerprints on this one, there's no issues whatsoever. All right, that needs refinishing. <laughs> I've just marked it. Um. check to make sure that the instrument's in tune within itself so the intonation is good um, and for that mainly we rely on our ears uh, working relative pitch between each of the notes and the intervals but we also have just a, a basic tuner there to tell us whether we're sharp or flat uh, and hopefully as you could hear uh, it was great not a problem with this one whatsoever um, we don't we don't set out expecting them to be perfect even though most of them are we expect or the unexpected we look for any flaws as players not just as manufacturers but as players you you expect excellence and won't accept anything less and uh, yeah this one is absolutely spot on it just if I can just go to Jean Christophe a second uh, some some idiot pulled the slide out and caught it on there so okay. it, can you uh, yeah. deal with that one it's a little bit tight oh, so the only issue with that one was um, a tight slide, which caused me to pull it out at the wrong angle and just put a little mark on, which JC will sort out in his perfect way as he normally does. <laughs> uh, it's the same with all the instruments, whether it's a prestige or a sovereign. They all get the same attention. That one will be replayed after John Christophe's looked at it. Um, but small, small points like the quality of the gold plate on the valve bottoms, we don't expect marks. Uh, when, I, when I buy an instrument, um, I, have a, I have a son that's now 20 years old, but when he, was, when he was young, when I went into the shops to retailers to buy a student model instrument, I expected perfection. It doesn't matter whether you pay a couple of hundred dollars or thousands, thousands of dollars, you expect it to be perfect. And that's what we aim for uh, with the production. We expect the best possible. Um, the finish of these, I've got to say, I know Jean Christophe is responsible for the final inspections uh, before I come it's perfect it's perfect the the silver plate and the gold plate is immaculate the alignment of the instruments exact no marks no mechanical issues the triggers work smooth and free then we just check to make sure that they're lock in place and still work yeah that all works drop them down triggers are all working manual slides smooth and easy to operate so we don't have an issue with that the valves all work quietly and smoothly so we've got no issues there all water keys work anything that comes out screw wise bottom caps top caps 
All easy to operate, yeah. And then the last test again, back to playing. <laughs> After completing the finishing process on the instrument, I inspect the different criteria that have been agreed upon, first by the instrument's endorser, as well as by our clients with whom we have a close relationship, in order to obtain what we call the quality standard, which serves to meet the demands of our final customers. The first criteria we observe is, as Roger mentioned, the way the instrument works. We check that the valves move silently and respond to different types of playing, as we know that different musicians press the valves in their own distinct way. We check that the slides are perfect as well. Also, because we're testing the professional series of the instrument, the aesthetics are very important to us, as well as for the player, who has high expectations on an aesthetic level. Therefore, we make sure that there are no scratches or irregularities on both silver-plated and lacquered instruments. And thanks to our endorsers, we ensure, of course, that our instruments are of the highest acoustic quality. Now, uh, I'm just once I've finished and I'm happy with them, that they just need a final wipe before they go in the case. Uh, we sign the guarantee card, and every every instrument uh, that we that we produce on this series, the Sovereigns and the Prestige Cornets, um, receive a signed guarantee card, a certificate uh, from. Besson. We don't want to do it as a mass, it's, it's got to be done individually, that way there's no confusion, there's no duplicating, and each individual instrument then ties in with the card, hopefully. If you can see the engraving, it's nice and neat. And the older you get, the harder it is to read. I like my writing, and the date is the 20th of the 5th, 2011. Believe it or not, that's me. The main thing is that there's no compromise on quality. I'm not under any pressure to pass them. Uh, I don't have a, a, a guideline. It's not a case of, oh, there are 50 cornets. You must pass 50 cornets. It's, you must test 50 cornets and pass the ones that you're happy to sign off. Um, the rest is down to you <laughs> and the guys in the factory to make sure that they're good enough. Fingers crossed, they are. I've done that one. Yeah. <laughs> 